In this video, I'm going to address one of the query raised by a user named as Ahik Sarkar. Now, the user has a query which says that uh, in Power Pages, how can I add a font family to the entire Power Pages so that every element of HTML uses that font? So basically, this is in response to one of the video which I posted how to use different fonts in Microsoft Power Pages site. So the user has a query that if a user has uh, a font defined, say, for example, there's a font named as Verdana and user wants to display that font consistently across the Power Pages site without getting uh, overwritten by any other CSS in the site. So how can that user do that? Now, yes, there is a way and I'm going to demonstrate that. But for that, I need to jump into uh, one of the site. Now, this is one of the site which I've already created. It's named as Gerish and it has nothing in it. Uh, so I'm going to add one page to the site. So I'll call this as uh, test uh, CSS and I'll click on add. Now here, this page has nothing in it. Okay, so this is a very blank page. I'm going to just add a text. Now I've copied some text related to Copilot. So let me paste that. So this is some text uh, and I'm going to duplicate this and I'll just, once it is saved, I'm going to sync this up. So it is saved now. So I'm going to sync it and I'll try to preview this particular page. Now I'll preview the desktop version. So I think I may need to log in. So I need to sign in first. So it will redirect me to the sign in page. This is just, I'm just testing whether the site is working or not, because I provisioned this long back. Yes, so it will authenticate me. And then once it is authenticated, then uh, I should be able to see the content of the page. So the goal basically is to have a consistent font uh, across the site, uh, even whatever is provided with uh, the default power pages, you just need to override that as well. So if I click on test CSS page over here, this is the text which we have just created. Okay. So let's do one thing. Let's uh, create a CSS file. So I have opened Visual Studio Code over here and I'm going to create a new file. And I'll call it as uh, ahir.css. Okay. Uh, so this is one of the CSS file. So I'll just say put it in the desktop. Okay. Now here in the CSS file, what we are going to do is like we just want to override everything. Okay. Now this is not a standard or a good approach, but then in order to address this query, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to write a CSS. Okay. So CSS directly targeting the HTML component. Okay. So anything which is within the HTML just override everything okay so i'm just gonna put uh, opening and closing braces over here and what we want is basically to have this particular style overridden with whatever by default power pages provide so we just need to put a start in the css okay now over here uh, if i want to define the font size okay so i can define the font size so i want the font size to be of say maybe 16 pixels okay and uh, if I want to override, because someone might have written this font size in various tags, so it, this is important. So exclamation important needs to be there so that it overrides your uh, uh, settings. Now you can even define the color uh, of the font. So for me, the color would be, I just say black. Okay, I just want black color. And again, uh, wherever you might have overwritten the font color, if you put exclamation important, then this will override everything. Now, the main case was basically to define the font family. So I'll just define font family. And then here I will type in uh, maybe Verdana first. Okay, so I'll just pick up this one. So this is the font family. And then I'll just put exclamation important. Okay, now I can select multiple fonts or maybe I'll just put one font because I don't want the other fonts to be rendered. So I'll just say font family colon Verdana and exclamation important semicolon and then this is my css basically so i've just saved the css now what you need to do in power pages site is if you want to apply the css you just first need to go into the styling and you pick any theme so maybe i'll just pick maybe the turquoise theme and 
I'll click here, three dots, click on manage CSS and then upload the CSS. So I'll upload the CSS and this is the CSS file which we have just created. Now, the moment you upload the CSS file, watch what happens in the preview section over here. So if the CSS file is correctly placed, then you might have seen that everything changes. Now, if you have seen that this font, this is Verdana, right? This is Verdana. This has become Verdana. This has become Verdana. So what it has done, it has taken that CSS and try to implement not only in this page control, but everywhere, right? Uh, because we have put it in HTML tag and also we have put a star and then also we have put an exclamation important for all the tags which we have put, right? So this is how you basically save it. Now let's see whether it works or not. So first click on sync and then we will uh, preview the site. And once this site is refreshed, we should be able to see the result, whether uh, it reverts back to the old font, what is provided by Microsoft Power Pages, or it takes the uh, CSS font, which we have provided. Now the page is refreshed. It has now changed everything into the CSS font, which we have provided. Also in terms of color, in terms of uh, the font size. So if you see the CSS, it says font size 16 pixel, uh, color black and font family as Verdana, okay? Now, this is how you basically uh, change the font size throughout your Power Pages site. Now, even it will change everywhere. So if you uh, go into the home page here, also on the menu, top menu here, you will see that all the font has been changed. Uh, now, if you do not want this thing to happen, then what you can do, you can again go back here, go to manage CSS, and then you just say, I just want to disable this, okay? So if you disable the CSS, then this font uh, the CSS file uh, styling will not be applied. So watch what happens over here. So if the moment I click over here and I click on disable, then it will revert back to the defaults, okay? Uh, it will retain the earlier sub font size, font family, and uh, the font color as well, okay? So this is how you basically use uh, CSS to override all the uh, font uh, parameters. Now, uh, this is usually not a good practice to put everything under HTML or everything under body, but then if you have something selected tag or selected class or selected uh, uh, ID, then uh, it is preferable to use that way. But as this question was raised by one of the user to apply it through the entire Power Pages site uh, and override everything, uh, this is the option which you can use to apply it to all your Power Pages site to have a consistent font uh, properties. Thanks for watching.